Okay, welcome to Exodus 34 today, verses 17 to 20. You shall make for yourself no molten gods. 18. You shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days. You are to eat unleavened bread as I commanded you at the appointed time in the month of Abib, for in the month of Abib you came out of Egypt. 19. The first offspring from every womb belongs to me and all your male livestock, the first offspring from cattle and sheep. 20. You shall redeem with a lamb the first offspring from a donkey, and if you do not redeem it, then you shall break its neck. You shall redeem all the firstborn of your sons. None shall appear before me empty-handed. So our text here is uh, heads off with uh, don't make any molten gods, which is what we've just been through all of Exodus uh, chapter 32, you know, the golden calf episode and all that. So that was a violation of the Big Ten, the Ten Commandments. And so here comes another reminder. Ah, no molten calves. Okay, we're, we're, we should be good for that. No more of that. Um, we have this command. We have this command to observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which we've already talked about uh, back there in Exodus 12, right? Uh, we have the command there, you know, to observe these, uh, the firstborn, the, you know, the firstborn are dedicated to the Lord. We've talked about that in previous mornings in these hundreds of um, devotional presentations on Exodus. The firstborn belong to God, he says, uh, redeem them all. And the part I kind of want to lay a little bit of emphasis on here is, uh, do not appear before me empty-handed. God will give you and I what we need. And, you know, when you first become a Christian, you might say, okay, now we're supposed to tithe and return these other gifts and offerings. And you might say, eh, my, my finances are pretty light. I'm, I'm going to really struggle with that. I don't have 10%, you know, wiggle room. I don't have 10% to give. Well, 10% is God's. It's God's right off the top. You, you, all of it, 100% is God's. And then the, the part that you return, the 10% that you return as tithe, is just your acknowledgement that the whole 100% that he has given you is from him, and you're giving the 10% to signal to him that, yes, I acknowledge your ownership of all that I have. And so, friends, uh, not appearing before God empty-handed, I love this. When we accept God's plan, even if we don't understand it fully, you know, we don't see, like, how am I going to stretch my money to make that rent? How am I going to make that, make it through because I don't have enough money to get by? Friend, uh, it's not just about money, certainly, at all. But I would say, though, that when, uh, when we're faithful to God, he will put into our hands what we need, and we will not need to appear before him empty-handed. Uh, these commandments, you know, feast of, do the Feast of Unleavened Bread, don't make any molten idols, and so on, that we have... These commandments is kind of like, well, it's kind of hard, hard to do that. It's hard not to do that. I, I'm used to doing that, you know, somebody might say. Uh, but I have to change my ways. And you might say, well, how can I even make that change? Well, God will put into your hand what you need. What you need to make the change in behavior, he's going to put that into your hand. So, friend, uh, we won't have to ever appear before God empty-handed. He will give us just what we need to follow Jesus. So here uh, we can take that lesson from this. Um, everything that we need, God will put into our hands. So we have a part to do. You know, we need to be available to him. <laughs> we need to uh, be receiving from him and be open to what he's doing. But he'll put into our hands just what we need so that we can be faithful to him. And God is telling his people this very thing here on the pathway out of Egypt and into the promised land. If it was good for them, friends, it's pretty good for you and I as well. God bless you. See you back tomorrow morning. Thank you.